My friends, welcome back. We are currently playing as the United Federation of Planets. Uh, we're currently right here in the attitude map mode uh, because I made a decision. Uh, not looking all of, at all of this, we'll, uh, we'll have to fix that in between time. The um, courtesan is going to be quite annoying, but we'll, we'll figure it out. I want to make sure that the galaxy is just this wonderful, wonderful place where the United Federation is just, you know, living happily amongst all of the citizens. And that means some of the empires, well, we need to change their ways. And not all of them, as you can see, these are slightly red. But like the Klingons, like the, um, the Tenzekki Kalines or something like that, the Bream, and eventually the Borg. All need to change. Uh, we also would like to integrate more of our vassals because they are just, you know, not making this looking more prettier. It's, uh, it's horrible, it's horrible, I tell you. Uh, so, yeah. Those are things that we'll uh, look into. Also, we need more consumer goods. We were aware of this and let's make it so. Oh man, just scrolling down through these planets is uh, is a massive task. It's a massive task, I tell you. So let's go back towards this. So we were actually protecting trade and all of that good stuff. But we're going to be changing um, what we were doing. Uh, the Klingons are still very much in war. Uh, we need to change that. We, um, we most likely will go to war in between of actually in this episode. Let's change all of this. Because it's annoying and scroll out a tiny bit so we can actually see what the hell we're doing. We have some of the fleets in here. Um, we are moving you up there. However, that is your starting system. Where do we construct ships from? Where do we construct your ships? Everywhere. We're going to be starting to send the fleets into more tactical areas so we can actually deal with the Klingons uh, the, the, the Federation decided at this time that um, we make sure that the systems are uh, safe now of course we are not going to be at war with the Romulans and by drawing back all of their fleets it will give the Romulans the time you to honor my house. maybe peace out yeah I hope for them. Uh, we have some scientists, of course. Um, J Captain James Kirk is uh, is not doing anything. I'm hoping he can still do things. Uh, you go and do the same thing, baseball boy. You got you got the massive ship. You're not doing anything. Why is that? Don't be so stubborn. And you go survey this system. Uh, because there's um, two potential planets in there of very good size, if uh, I may say so. So yeah, we were slowly, slowly getting to a point in the game where we are just waiting for the latest ship designs. Oh, so there's nothing else to... Oh, you can't get out of there? Hmm, is there a way back for you? Because if there is, then we will take it. Um, scientist is in there. Let's just start it. Let's start sending someone over here. Assist in the research and um, come on, baseball. I think you might be in the war effort then. So you got a good sized ship. You have almost two and a half thousand uh, firepower, which is very nice. Let's start sending you in here. Since, well, we can't do anything else. All of the systems have been searched. Of course, not the Valve territory that closed its territory towards us. And, well, we don't need to go into these kind of systems. Not too important. But for the rest, everything is... Um, well, almost everything has been uh, researched. Look at all of these transwarp conduits. It's scary. It is scary. That's why I want to make the galaxy a better place. We do want to deal with threats like the Borg. But first things are our quadrants, making sure that um, they are safe. 
Also, uh, we want to look into some of these um, buildings a bit more. Especially when we upgrade. I would like to start going towards... Where are you? Of course I can't find it. Every time I look for it, I can't find it. Mm. Private contractors. And navigation buoys. And also, some of these weapons, I've been told, um, will actually, like shuttle bay, trade protection, there you go, plus two. A lot of these will actually give trade protection away. So, if we can't build anything else, maybe we should just go for four slots and two weapons to get um, trade protection up. Uh, but if I can do it in a different manner, uh, like just these building slots, I will most likely go for it. So these are going to be like trade protection as soon as we can upgrade it. Now I believe that we're actually researching that. Yes we are, here we go, Starbase uh, level 2. Also we've got a few names again, which is cool, I like that. Uh, Richard Cook, who is uh, in, in, he said he's in a self composed uh, confinement in China so uh, my friend I hope you are doing well and stay healthy that's all that matters uh, we have let's see we got Salveta that is new we got Ted currently and we have Patrick oh dear Yarvolov Yarvolov uh, if, if I butcher that I'm very sorry sir I'm very sorry so we are also still doing all of these um, planets so yeah, the Kardashians, no, not the biggest deal. Okay, enough bullshit. Let's just go. Let's get to speed two. We're st we're starting to move the fleets. We should be equal. What? Initiating communications. So that is quite nice. We got a commercial uh -huh. invitation by the Congress of Bani, whatever. Agree on that. So that's all going well. Let's zoom out a tiny bit. But yeah, we do want to make sure we got some more Brazim Natred. And we also probably want to dial down some of these uh, medical areas. Because a negative 7 is quite, well, quite something. Also, Pergum. We want to make sure we get that going. Pergum, we have a planet that has nothing else to do. Well, not at the moment. We'll uh, we'll think about that later. So we're going to be assaulting the Klingons as soon as my fleets are in range, which um, could still take a while. Uh, the Prime Minister's reign has come to an end, which is uh, quite nice. But who will be the next one? Let's see if any of my um, my sectors got. Can, can we? Can we? Come on, game. Don't don't go over it. This is why um, I'm actually considering that uh, this series is uh, eventually going to end. the The lag itself is uh, it, it, it's quite a bit. I am very happy reading the um, paradox uh, again. Paradox uh, update notes like the death diaries and stuff like that, because. They are actually uh, looking into a way of fixing the AI and fixing the lag and stuff like that, which is the best news ever. Yes, it is. Because that is very, very needed. Let's get a scientist in here. I'm looking very much forward to the um, the new DLC, actually. The Origins, it seems so cool. You can, you, can, you can start off as a vessel of a fallen empire, which sounds amazing. But also, like, being the machine, being cybernetic, all of that good stuff. Looking so much forward to that. Um, they will heal up once they are there. We were currently changing this fleet. And we still need 5k to get it all working. So, when all of the fleets are ready... Oh, you already have an ex ambassador class? Construction. Seriously? I Did I mess that up? Did I get ambassador classes without even me knowing it? Damn. Wait, is this? No, it shouldn't be, right? This is not the Federation. This is not the... the uh, 
we're still uh, uh, waiting for the latest design of um, of the flagship. Huh. Yeah, that's what we're doing. Constitutional class. Constellation, it says. The constitutional class. That's the one that we don't have yet. Uh, there's the Franklin and the Rio Grande. They look so bloody good. I really would like to be a captain of those. Let's take a look here. Leader experience. Border friction negative 10. Repair stations. Actually, increase AA damage ground to space weaponry. I would go for the border friction. As the Federation... Having less border friction, I think the border friction you with my them is insane. Border friction is in 120. Construction complete. Construction complete. So that will be 12 less, but we'll, we'll have to change that ways. This complete. war is most likely going to be at an end soon. So the sooner we can fix it, the better. Uh, we will need our transports Initiate this time. And I want to have them somewhere close. Let's pause here because there's a migration treaty going in. Um, so they're trying, to, they're using these systems to jump in their own. If we can block that. You go here. Uh, where else? You will take a shit long time to get there. This is more than enough. You don't have to be it at a station. Because what we will do is just immediately go for planets. Take those out. We'll focus about systems. Actually, our allies can focus their systems. Uh, let me see if we get something into this. There is one thing. Uh, we need some... Can we build the other stuff? Where is that? This stuff. This don't no, actually this upkeep. Can we can make that stuff? No, we cannot. Ooh. Ooh, that's not good. Can we not make that stuff? Damn. Let's see if it's not in here somewhere. How is it called actually? Bergium. So we might have to destroy one of these. Because we're making negative one. So we will. We'll piss off a few people, but at least the negative will go away. And we'll build... Where are you? Here we go. A soil enrichment center. And that should be enough... This planet is going to be so pissed. He's like, yeah, dude, great. You come by and everything goes to shit. Uh, but that's just how it is. Quarters in we can make. They uh, that specialized planet. So, migration treaty from the Xenopolite guilds. I'll agree. So, once all of our fleets are ready, it is going to be time that we start dealing with uh, the Klingons. Um, the Romulans, perhaps? The Empire won't fall to those vermin. Mm, we can make them a vessel, perhaps, eventually. They must be at peace. Uh, we, I want to invite them into the coalition. Now, there's a few empires that I most likely will not integrate. Because I think their name is a meaning meaning a lot like the, the the romulans like the klingons perhaps even the cardassians and uh, those are actually like uh, your three big empire uh, enemies and uh, pierre curas has died at the age of 102 my friend that is an amazing age an amazing age i'm, I'm still working my way into the uh, into those lines to actually get a, a larger age some of my scientists are really old. Really old. Uh, we'll just keep with these kind of things. Where were you again? You're all the way in here. Well, continue with whatever you were doing, sir. As long as you can, continue doing it. 
all of their research. Eventually, all of my scientists are just going to be in my own territory. Um, defensive pact has been ended between other empires, not ours. Uh, do we have to kill one more, Bergium? Yeah, because it's still a negative at some point. So... I can do that right now, right? It's this one. And Bruce is 25. Well, it's nice. Not really what we need. <sighs> no, not really. Uh, we're also going to build more houses, but we're a negative one on districts. Interesting. Let's destroy those. And build one of these. Eventually, that will all change. Can we actually get, like, terraforming? Um, is there a way? Let's go to F. Oh, uninhabited planet. So we cannot terraform this one yet. But perhaps the decision to go into a city-state? Because I w does it work like that? Uh, an indicomodism or, you know, a city planet. <laughs> Stop hurting yourself. Uh, anyways, let's go. Let's some pause here because we want to move in the fleets. Let's see, what is their progress? 75%. That's just amazing. Guys, we're just four years away from integrating the Shellac Corporation. And then we'll focus on the tinier fraction, uh, factions again. And, and hopefully stability in the game will be become, well, better because they lose their fleet. And a great, great amount of it. Let's investigate this. Hopefully he won't die. Research agreement also killed. These guys are ready to go to war. Uh, intriguing. We'll have a good chance to get something. Hopefully it's the research. A rivalry. Yeah, war is about to break out between those empires. Planet Wagon has finished construction queue. Yeah, that is great, sir. That's great. Uh, understood. So this guy has nothing else to do. Let us start sending you back into this region of the... Uh, of space because there is very little we actually have in this region so go here and assist the research complete. oh we're using the wormhole that is that is so cool and where where is that station where is it it has to be in here there has to be like an event where you build the ds9 station Construction complete. And it should be under Kardashian rule. So are the Kardashian stations looking like that? Uh, no, we need one with complete. a good... It actually has a fortress. Where is it? Can I not see it? Construction complete. That is bloody unfortunate. No, I'm un unable to see it. That is very unfortunate. I was kind of hoping that we could. Oh well, what can you do? Complete. Uh, so far, so good. Still, supplies are going down. Alloys going up. And this is something that I desperately wanted. Uh, some of my fleets... It's red now? What the hell is that? I wonder what that will do. Since when is that red? Was there an update? Interesting. Fleet 1. Uh, let's go to fleet management. So, it's actually these two ships then. Wow, they're still not on the, the highest. So, we've got one fleet, two fleet, the third fleet is almost there. The fourth it's fleet is in here. we got four, so we're almost ready. Next episode, we will go to war. Military dictatorship, we have uh, gotten to know. Interface cloaking, tactical. Actually, we're, we're about to go to war. Face cannons. The hell is that? Is that new weapons? It's component. It looks like uh, something for a shipyard, but I don't really think that is true. Colony established. A meta synthesizer. Yeah, that could be interesting. Let's take that. So, next episode, guys. It is time to go to war. 
with the Klingon Empire. Hopefully we can relieve the pressure of the Romulans uh, by taking out all of their uh, belongings. What, what we need to do is um, close our borders. And declaring rival... Construction complete. Because if I declare right now, it, this is what we want, ideology. Complete. And it's going to be... It is going to be rough. I will tell you that. Let it is definitely going rough. What we now prevented them from doing is going through our territory and help their own situation over here. Complete. Now, we can already see that there are Klingon fleets that is 9k. If that is the only one, which I doubt, that would be nice. So we're going in with, I think, maybe two fleets in here. Oh, and, and they will keep two fleets protecting the our territory. That is what we should do to the best of our efforts. It's going to be a messy war, I will promise you. But it is going to be a, uh, a war. It is time for the Klingons to lose their ways. They can hunt Targ. I don't care. But, Vesselize request. Oh, the Craven are Vesselizing. Are you that strong? Where the hell are you? The Craven should be around here somewhere. Zero, 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 zero. Kravik, Kravik, zero. Yeah, look zero, at that. Kravik, the Gazans are Kravik, under. Kravik. Everyone is under. Let's form a research deal with them. Which is absolutely fantastic. Uh, maybe we can integrate them at some point. Uh, the Dominion. Did you get some Vesselize? No, nothing. What, what's up with the Dominion, guys? Anyways. Thank you for watching. I hope you are enjoying yourself. If you do, let me... Uh, just, just leave a like. Leave a like. Leave comments. I love comments. And I'll see you next time. Have a good one. Bye-bye.